I'm Katie, and I'm doing a presentation about summer and winter. So I got a couple of pictures of some activities you can do. Summer, water sports. Tubing and skiing are some of the fun ones, and there's some pretty interesting things people do. Camping. You can make s'mores or go fishing and have a bonfire. It requires family bonding. Activities. Some things you can do in the summer are have a water fight or go swimming. Barbecue. A fun thing to do in summer is a barbecue. It's a good way to bond with family or friends, and there are a lot of fun things to do. Usually there is a lot of food. Camping. Camping is a very prominent summer activity, and a lot of families do this because they have bonding time. You get to cook and have a bonfire every night, and on top of that, you can go swimming. When camping, usually families all go together, and it's a lot of fun because you get to do stuff together. So I have some pictures of some summer activities. History of water sports. Ever since the beginning, there has been a hunger for us. We've always been drawn to the water, and it first started with fishing. Eventually, we learned to swim, and that evolved into something much more. As we continued to explore, people got creative and slowly invented water sports and activities. Winter. Winter is also a season enjoyed by many. Some of these snow-loving maniacs' favorite things to do is snowboarding, skiing, and snowmobiling. These activities are enjoyed by families everywhere. People travel miles and miles to go skiing at some of the highly rated ski resorts all over. Winter sports. Snowboarding, ice skating, cross-country skiing, sledding, hiking, alpine skiing and ski jumping, snowmobiling, and hockey. I have a couple of pictures of things people do in the winter. Places to practice winter sports. Great Bear Lodge and Terry Peak are two of the resorts in South Dakota. Both of these are ski resorts, but Terry Peak is far better because they have more trails, mountains, and stuff to do, as well as more lodging, and they offer an assortment of places to eat or stop and grab a bite. History of winter sports. Snow and ice during the winter has led to different means of transportation. This has led to people skiing, sledding, and snowboarding to get where they need to go. Nowadays, people do these activities as a fun pastime. How these activities affect you. Along with doing any of these activities, there is a chance of injury. Also, they can help families bond and create stronger bonds. Though they can be expensive, they are fun. Thank you for watching.